We've heard the views of some MPs and some potential voters today, and while opinions may differ, it is also clear there are lots of different outcomes to what happens this week in Westminster. We really have not faced such a complicated time in British politics. To help us through it, I'm joined by Catherine Haddon, an expert in constitutional matters. Thank you for joining me on uh, this week of weeks. I want to start with asking you a question that I asked Nigel Evans and failed to get a, a, a clear answer. If MPs vote today to take control of Parliament from the government and if they vote to extend uh, the, uh, the, the deadline to January the 31st, Boris Johnson will call an election, we know that. What happens if he doesn't get the power, the two-thirds majority? What does he do next? Well, he does have other options in terms of he could bring just a very short bill that says we put the Fixed-Term Parliaments Act to one side, we're going to have a general election anyway. But that still needs a majority. And, of course, this is the crucial thing in all of this, is can he get a majority, can the other side get a majority? So that's another option for him. If not that, if they get this legislation through, because it's also a race against time, uh, Boris Johnson not only wants to call an election, but he also wants to call an end to this legislation. So he wants that to happen before it passes all of the stage of the House. And if he doesn't do that, then it's very difficult to know what the government will do next. There was some concern that uh, the Prime Minister has the power to say that it's going to be on October the 14th mm. and then actually chuck it into the long grass and do it after Halloween, after this key date of October the 31st when we leave the EU. Is that correct? Has he got the power to do it, that? It's yet another of these things where you can say he's technically got a power to do that. Mm. He's the one that recommends to the Queen the date of the election. But we would never have been talking about this previously because it would have been unimaginable that you would try and trick the Parliament into thinking it's going to be one day and then changing it to another date. Yeah. So it's one of those things of... It's, it's strange that we're even talking about whether yeah. or not he could do that, let alone whether he would do that. That's what's happening here at yeah. 2.30 today, starting at 2.30. Elsewhere, there's a legal challenge to mm. stop a no-deal Brexit. What are the chances of uh, that going through? We still don't know, and it's one of these tricky areas because it's such a difficult area to get into. This is about you know, the role of uh, very ancient powers that the Prime Minister have, the ability to advise the Queen. Uh, and normally the courts haven't got into this place, but in increasingly over the courts of Brexit, we've seen them doing so. I think we'll know more as the, the, the week goes on. So, yeah, at this stage we still know less than we know, yeah, and that yeah. includes you, Catherine Haddon. Thank you so much. Thank you.